2018 was probably one of the greatest years for the video gaming industry. Battle Royale was at full steam ahead, grandiose titles such as God of War, Red Dead Redemption 2 and Monster Hunter World were all in contention to win Game of the Year, and Blizzard spectacularly announced a spin-off to a massively successful franchise, Diablo Immortals. You guys all have phones, right? Jokes aside, the racing genre was also at full throttle, introducing titles such as Wreckfest, The Crew 2, and everyone's favourite, Forza Horizon 4. Graphics were being pushed to their limits with the ninth generation lurking around the corner, and the indie scene proved once again that small budgets can have a gigantic impact, with the likes of Celeste, Beat Saber and Among Us. However, there is one more title that flew underneath the radar that brought in an incredible amount of passion, creativity and intensity. After its Kickstarter inception in 2012, reaching its goal within a month and entering early access two years later, Distance finally released to the world in 2018, created by Refract Studios. The game offered an array of activities to participate in, such as a fully-fledged story mode, arcade and multiplayer modes. There was a lot to plunge into. However, the player base only peaked below 1,000 users upon release, which makes for puzzling reading when you consider how much was on offer. Nevertheless, this game deserves its own share of the spotlight in order to showcase what makes it such an incredible title. This is our retrospective of Distance. So why not go the distance yourself and consider subscribing to this lovely Traction channel? We have lots of content just like this every day, and we'd love to share all of these videos with you in the future. Upon a quick glance, this game delivers an intense attack on the senses with a vivid array of colour, light and sound, blended into rapid stunts and game mechanics that require the quickest of reactions. Trying to understand what's going on can be overwhelming, but let's start from the beginning with the story mode. You're introduced to a mysterious unknown facility with the aim of escaping before it goes into meltdown, and this is where everything is slowly unravelled to the player. You control a car through a time trial based level, but alongside the basic throttle, brake and steering controls, you also have multiple different abilities with an easy to play yet hard to master skill level. As you progress through the story mode, you're introduced to these mechanics one by one, with boost being the first ability given to the player. Boost simply allows the car to travel faster, but is hindered by the car's temperature, with the vehicle exploding once it's too high. Passing through checkpoints immediately resets the temperature down to a cooler level and allows for more boost to be used. Then there's jumping, which does exactly what it says in the tin. After this, the player is introduced to the flight mechanic. This opens the wings and allows the car to fly, but also increases the car's temperature. While the wings are activated, the car's movement is limited to pitch and yaw, allowing precise control of where the player wants the car to go. The final mechanic introduced is the thruster control. In comparison to the wings, this allows the car to pitch and roll, and gives the ability for some intense tricks to be done. These thrusters are located on top of the car, enabled with one specific button that pushes the car downwards. This is especially useful for planting your car firmly into the ground when going over a tight hill. Combining these mechanics together is the only way to get through these treacherous levels. You'll have to jump off a broken track, roll your car 90 degrees to the side and land safely on the track by using the thrusters, or you could simply jump off the track and open your wings to make it across the gap, but this comes at the cost of being the slowest option. Advanced mechanics have been found to skip past long flying sections, which involve flipping the car over to expose its belly with the thruster button held down. This will push the car upwards and doesn't include the slowdown penalty that the wings provide. However, controlling your car in this manner is incredibly difficult and requires heaps of practice. To reach the top of the global leaderboards within the arcade mode requires intense movement throughout the level. This involves taking shortcuts by jumping over tracks and using the scenery to your advantage, while at the same time cooling down your core temperature by performing stunts. Every level has multiple routes leading towards the goal, as the designers want you to explore and find the fastest route yourself. As you progress through the levels, you're bound to be caught by certain obstacles such as lasers, saw blades, emerging walls, environment shards and much much more. Almost everything in this game can kill you, and its fast nature requires some quick reflexes to navigate through. Even the floor's laser grid kills you, as falling off the track leads to certain death. In, in the game that is, not, not in real life. What's interesting about Distance that no other game does is its laser mechanics. Not only can these death rays move around at speed, but they also slice your car and can affect the handling. For example, slash the roof off and it runs like normal. However, slice the car in half perfectly down the centre and you'll lose drive on the entire other half, leading to heavily affected handling and aerodynamic ability, considering you can only deploy one wing. This is such a unique feature and I cannot think of any other game that includes this, especially when it comes to affecting a vehicle's performance. There's also a lot of variety when it comes to level design, including tons of different environments you can traverse across. Be it an 80s inspired outrun level, a haunted mansion with unstable obstacles, an event horizon within space, the list just goes on and on. Specific types of scenery pulse to the BPM of the music, another layer that immerses you within its atmospheric world. 
All these levels are perfectly complemented by its electronic soundtrack, created by Jordan Hemingway and the Quiggles. The background music you've been hearing throughout this video can be found in-game, and I'd highly recommend buying this game just for the soundtrack alone. Like the game itself, the ambience is incredible, and it's such a shame to see that it hasn't been able to gain recognition within the industry. However, as much as I'd like to continue with the praise, there are a few negatives with this game. My main struggle is down to vision and seeing upcoming obstacles. Considering how detailed every level is, the track and hurdles can be difficult to spot as it blends into the environment. It's very easy to become disorientated when traversing through multiple inversions and lose sight of where you're supposed to go, but there's not really an easy solution to this other than get good. Most importantly of all, however, this game has not received an update since December 2019, but there's a very good reason for this. In May 2020, the creative director and composer, Jordan Hemingway, revealed in a blog post that the three founders had come to an agreement to split shortly after release. While the other two had incredible opportunities lined up, such as the technical director eventually going on to work on Halo Infinite, Jordan acquired the entirety of Refract Studios, which led him to working home alone. He also revealed that his mental health was suffering due to burnout upon release, and didn't know what the future of Refract looked like. As Distance had been revealed to be coming to PS4 in 2015, it unfortunately had to be put on pause for a while. However, Jordan mentions that progress is likely slow, but he's doing his best, and is optimistic about the future of Refract. Burnout is a serious issue, and working alone on a project is a huge feat, so it's great to see that Jordan has been taking some time away from the project to protect his mental and physical health. He, along with the old Refract Studios team, have created an incredible title that deserves your full attention. The drawbacks I spoke about previously barely leave a dent in the armour. The lack of a large user base is always an issue towards motivation when continuing support, but hopefully the upcoming PlayStation release should bring in more players. Whether that introduces a new update in the future for both platforms is unknown, but the future of Distance is largely the same as its first level. Mysterious, uncertain, and we all look forward to more. If you were to describe this game in comparison to other titles within the genre, Distance contains the mechanics of Rocket League, the gameplay of Trackmania, and the aura of Wipeout, all wrapped up into one atmospheric bundle with an intense soundtrack. I would highly recommend giving this title a shot, and if you do, hours will be lost within its immersive world. So, that concludes our retrospective. Are you a big fan of Distance? Let us know in the comments below. Subscribe to the Traction channel for more racing game content and hit the notification bell to catch our videos as they are released. Until next time, thanks for watching, keep it pinned, and have a great day.